today I'm going to be going over how to reset the tire pressure monitors on the on a, my uh, 2008 uh, Cadillac Escalade. Now I had the tires rotated, so right now, uh, according to you know the dash, well right now I have a low tire, low tire pressure on one of them. It's been cold, and um, I'll have to check it out see if there's a leak or anything later on. But I'm getting a um, right now. You know they're off. You know, so it's not giving me the right reading. Like right now, it's telling me my left front is low on air, but it's actually my my left rear that's low on air because I had the tires rotated. So I'm just going to go through a little bit on how to reset your tire uh, pressure monitor sensors on uh, all four wheels. So with the Escalade, what you do is you know first put your key in the car, and what you're going to want to do is hold down the unlock and the lock button until you hear like a chirp and you'll actually see something on the monitor. There you go, you see a tire learning active. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take a pin and I'm gonna go around outside and I'm, uh, you take whatever you want, but you just have to, <sighs> the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go and you're gonna see that well, the front lights are on, so that's still active. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go and let the air out until the car chirps. So that one's good. Now we're gonna go to the next tire. first two tires you go to the driver's side then the passenger side and then you go to the right rear that one took a little longer to make the chirp but it did You're going to finish off on the left. You can see this one's low on air. So that's why it was telling me my front driver's side, but it's actually my rear driver's side. twice the horn honks twice which tells me that it's done so now I can't tell now but we're gonna have to go and refill all the, the tires up with air uh, another thing you can do is you can actually um, instead of letting air out and having to refill you can actually just I think I think it has to be two pounds less but plus or minus for the car to register that that's the tire that's referring to for the uh, pressure monitor sensor. What, you, what I normally do is I just fill up the tires with air, with, you know, extra three pounds of air. And, uh, and that way I just release three pounds of air and it registers. And that way I don't have to go back. I mean, it's, I guess it's doing it before uh, because otherwise right now I'm gonna have to go back and refill all four tires to the correct uh, tire pressure. But since, you know, one of my tires was low on air, I just, you know, I'm going to have to fill it anyway. So now I'll just go back and I'll refill, you know, all four tires to the correct uh, tire pressure, which is found on the, uh, on the door. Uh, so for this vehicle, um, you're looking at 35 pounds for the front and 35 pounds for the rear. So they should all be uh, 35 um, 
and that's pretty much it i mean that's how you reset the tire sensors um, and this works i believe for the yukon tahoe um you know suburban uh they all come from the same line uh so uh, that's pretty much it that's my video for today just you know something that's just quick maintenance things when you rotate the tires or if you uh take it somewhere and uh you know they rotate the tires and they don't reset them for you or they don't know how to it's very simple uh so that's about it hey i just want to thank you all for watching if you like my videos just go ahead and subscribe hit the like button so i can keep on making more of these videos for you thanks